Welcome back to the adventures of Super Jilp and his many, many merry men now. So we've got Tang, Devon, uh, Sarai. Who else did we... We picked up someone else, right, last episode. Or was Devon the guy we saved? No, 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 that was it. We got the prisoner, Ruben, as well. We're turning this from very quickly into what was just Jilp in a shed to uh, many other people in Jilp in a shed. So that's going pretty well. We do need a lot of bedrooms very quickly this time around. So I've seen a couple of comments, both of which are incredibly useful. So if you wrote either of these comments, give yourself a round of applause. First things first, apparently, I didn't realize this at the um, I built the water tower two squares into the area of the wind pump, so that's obviously making it far less efficient. It still works, it's just not ideal, obviously it's still getting the, the water pumping through there. So ideally we need to move the water tower over. Can we reinstall? We can't reinstall either. Oh, that sucks. Okay, um... For now, let's just not worry about it, because we're still pumping water out, and we don't have much of a demand for water. Although, saying that, we do have a prisoner that we need to worry about. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, fine. Um... Let's just put it there then. That way, it's it's also not taking up any of the any of the the forest. I was going to call that any, any of the farm, but also it will obviously not obstruct the wind pump too. Fine. All right, my mistake. That's a little annoying, but that's nothing to worry about. Let's start working on that immediately. So the other thing is in regards to the kill box. So people have been telling me to light this one up, and there was a really really great comment. This is this is pretty big brain stuff. To put down a growing zone. The only reason we build roofs over the killing box, by the way, is to prevent trees growing in it. Trees provide somewhere for the enemies to hide behind and shoot from behind. So, if we build a roof, that means that there are no trees that can grow there, or any plants or anything like that. The good suggestion I saw was plant a growing zone there. Uh, so, so, basically put anything, it really doesn't matter. I've just put hay grass. Um, and then disallow, allow sowing. They won't then grow crops there, but what they will do is they'll chop down any trees within the area, or as we've seen in other situations, you know, one block outside of that area. So that works out incredibly well for us. So what I'm going to do then is uh, tell them to unroof it. Now, we need to be in darkness, they need to be in light. So if we get raids during the daytime, this strategy will work really well. It's still only a temporary solution because we will also need to, um, you know, light it up at nighttime just in case we do get that nighttime raid. So it's not super ideal, but it is definitely much better than what we've got right now, which is uh, permanent darkness. Right, so, remove roof area, team. Good work. What we also need to do is deal with these embrasures as soon as possible, because although this was a fairly okay idea, it is backfired now that we've moved the killbox over quite significantly, so we'll deal with that next. Um, I mean, we don't necessarily need to, actually. We could build a wall parallel. We could do something like that, put a load of doors on it so they can get to it easily, and then when the enemies start getting too close, we duck out behind the doors and get behind this one. That way, this one's still useful during the early game, and it prevents the enemy doing exactly what we had this time, using our own embrasures against us. That's a lot. That's way too meta for me. That's, that's too much of a smart person thing to do. So I'm just going to basically destroy the whole thing and rebuild it. In fact, we'll replace it. I was going to deconstruct it all and then use the wood, obviously, to rebuild that. But we kind of do need this here, otherwise it defeats the point of the whole killbox. If we say dismantle one and then an enemy raid turns up, and they'll just walk straight through it. So I'm, I'm happier to do it with this method. All right, then. So... Now what? We need warm clothes. Fine. Need colonist beds. Bedrooms are also big priority. How much wood have we got? Uh, not too much. Why is the camera panning speed so high today? Um, right. So we need to build a couple of other bedrooms pretty immediately then. So I might have to build this windmill somewhere else. It does kind of suck that we're having to move yet another windmill, but this area we're going to need for buildings. I kind of wasn't expecting this this quickly. We could also build some extra buildings down here, obviously. Um, but it's easier to move the wind turbine and try and keep all the, all the sort of bedrooms and things in a similar area. Rather than, you know, move just the wind turbine. So, let's put this here. And let's just uh, chalk, chalk that one up as a little bit of, the, of, of a loss there. Because we are going to obviously lose a little bit of steel. A little bit of components of that too. Alright, to work team. Good. I can't believe that. I'm so annoyed. Anyway, Jill, if you want to go ahead and finish that off. So we can at least start pumping some water overnight. Otherwise, we're going to be in a real deficit. Oh god, we're out of steel. Oh, of course we are. Um, get rid of the electric smithy then. That's something we don't need immediately. And it's something we'll need for the future. Is it? Is it cold? It is absolutely cold, so we need to also deal with that in a second as well. Get some heaters in this sort of main base. Vents as well would be kind of ideal. And that is connected up, isn't it? It is, but it's so slow. I guess just because the wind is slow, right? I hope? Uh, it doesn't seem to be working very well, huh? Oh, there we go. Okay, it's, it's picking up. Good. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so what we need to do then is start working on steel immediately to deal with this uh, cold snap. Or not really a cold snap. Uh, some of us call it winter. Happens once a year. It's that yearly cold snap. We'll deal with that. We'll put vents in every room so that we're not spending too much on heaters. Then we also need to dig some sort of water supply in the prisoner room. Otherwise, they're going to start freaking out pretty pretty quick. Um, we need a... Was it a fountain people suggested? I think it was like a fountain or a basin or something like that. We'll put down a fountain though because they can drink from that one and wash in it. So that seems appropriate. We'll just put that basically anywhere. I don't really care too much. They also need a toilet. 
as it's only one prisoner in there by himself. Although we'd probably want him also future proof it a little bit. So let's put the toilet there. Let's put the basin or the fountain over here. It really doesn't matter too much. The only reason I'm doing that is so we can put in a stall door as well. Just in case we get more than one prisoner, that means that we can have a little bit of privacy. And we could probably turn this into a little more of a full-blown prison as well. Expand out sort of in this direction towards the mountain a little bit more. Expand out, you know, towards the east. That's fine. So we need lots more wood, lots more steel. That's the goal for today. Get all the bedrooms built. Get this, get this sorted out. Finish off the weapon switching around as well. Because obviously we picked up a couple of rifles or, or weapons, whatever they were. Guns, shotguns, whatever. From the raid that we fought last time. And also being able to do something with this fecal waste would be kind of nice. Because we've just basically got uh, shit cave. That is truly shit cave. Look at that. You can see where it's spreading there from the outlet. So that's all. I don't know. I think it has a higher disease risk or, or they can... Something goes wrong, basically, if they go near that area too often. So we're trying to avoid that. How's the water pump? Yeah, the water pump is doing a lot, lot better now that we moved that, huh? It's weird. It's almost like you shouldn't obstruct wind turbines. Good. Jilp, whenever you're ready to wake up and face the day, that'd be fantastic. Because basically everything hinged on you always. And we build some more bedrooms up in this area. Even if we have to remove a little bit of this mountain, that's fine. Because it's still fairly well defended. Stone cutting should come next. Um, so I've already obviously planned out the stone cuts table there, but again, we need way more steel. We're having a party. Well, that's good. It's not recreation time, but that's okay. Thank you for you for, uh, wasting everybody's time and effort there. Jilp, what are you up to? Removing roof. That's probably fine. He can last a couple of days without water, but if we get a raid turn up, then, you know, I think we're a little bit more screwed in that regard. Let's remove the roof off this kill box as soon as possible. So how are we doing in terms of steel? They are working on that. Is there anyone else we can sort of dedicate to mining a little bit more? Um, are you heading over there now? Oh, you already are. Okay, nothing to worry about then. Or they're maybe even delivering the resources. Either way, I'm fine with that. Let's cancel that temporarily. L we've got to think of the essential stuff. So, Jill, get rid of this wind turbine. I don't know if we even need to right now. We don't have much of an energy demand at all. It's just lights, co the, the occasional cooler, obviously the freezer. And uh, what will be some heaters soon. And we've got two full batteries there. I'm still going to make sure we've got a second one anyway. Because I, I feel like it's... Not going to be enough otherwise. Go and work on that one as soon as possible. If we can get that done right now, thank you very much. Alright, and then we can hopefully start working on this garbage in here next. Alright, that's taking that's taking ages. It's taking a little longer than I expected. That's okay, nothing to worry about. And what was his difficulty recruit again? Let's take a look. 17% resistance, remaining 45% recruitment difficulty. That's not too bad. I, I think we're fine with that one. Devon, please don't sleep in the freezer. Otherwise, you're going to complain that you're too cold. Um, let's put down just some sleeping spots. I guess just in bedrooms. Because that way they'll at least get... Nice room bonuses? I don't really know how that would work. Okay, fine. Let's let's wake him up. Hey, go and go and do literally anything else with your life. There we go. Good. All right. So everybody's got a weapon. It's just a case of upgrading them something better. Now, who was it who picked up the weapons? Um, Tang, Jilp. We picked up. Oh, it was it was the new guy. Got it. Um, if you want to come drop this in here, that way I can set up some new sort of loadouts for that as well. Obviously, getting gun research done as soon as possible would be fantastic. That would really give us the edge during some of these raids. Especially as our first raid, or what was technically a raid we invited on ourselves there. Our first raid turned up with two weapons. We were fighting them off with a knife and a bow. That's not ideal. As I said, we literally brought a knife to a gunfight. So that is something to worry about in the long term. But we've got much more immediate problems for now. All right. So we've got uh, heater. I'm glad we're heating the prison and not, you know, our actual living quarters. That's okay, though. I'm, I'm fine doing it either. Either order, to be honest with you. Okay, that's going to give us a shit some more wood, which they can use to build bedrooms and such things. All right. Toilets at no time. Let's get that plumbed in as soon as possible. So, oh, nice. We can just run that straight down from there. And perfect. Okay. So, that's the prison basically dealt with. We don't need to worry about anything. He's got water. He's going to obviously get food fed to him automatically but via Jilp. Heating is dealt with. The prisoner actually has the nicest room in the entire colony. That's absurd. Now, what have you pointed out? I gave the masterwork bed over to Sarai. So, we're going to go ahead and undo that right now. Excuse me. Oh, I'm going to take this one. We're going to reinstall that one there. Um... Jill, I'm going to cancel that, and then we're just going to get him to drop it on the floor, because obviously that wasn't the right place. I just wanted to move it to start off with there. Um, already working on that one. Thank you very much. And let's install that one. Whoops. Let's install that one there. There we go. I want Jill's room to be the research room, obviously, because he's going to be, you know, working in there the most, so it makes the most sense. Set owner, and that is super Jill. He gets the master work bed. That's a little bit selfish. Barracks. Oh, because... Yeah, because we've got a sort of medical spot there. So what we could do is just basically move that over to here. Um, switch that over to medical. Delete that. Then it'll stop counting as a barracks. And Jilt will be very, very slightly happier. And it'll fight. No one else has moved negatively. So that, I think, is a, a fairly unnecessary micromanaging style play. Who's got the minor break risk? Devon, what's wrong, my friend? Minor pain. Observed corpse. Mediocre barracks. Slept on ground. Uncomfortable. Disturbed sleep. Soaking, soaking wet. Okay. Uh, that's all fair. That is, that is all fair. Um, plant cutting, then. Let's get a little bit more wood. I think guns, the sooner the better in regards to that. 
Can we get everyone to squad up to go and get some wood very quickly? There we go. All right, perfect. Now, Job, I need you to build a bed. Because if this guy sleeps on the ground anymore, he's going to freak out. So we'll just put down a single extra bed. Prioritize working on that as soon as possible. Ideally, if we can get this done by today, that would be fantastic. Oh, shit. Uh, that's probably going to be enough, right? Yeah. Come on, Job. Back to work. Oh, because he's probably delivering that or someone else is delivering it. Okay, there we go. And boom. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so who's sleeping on the floor then? Uh, Sarai is sleeping on Tang. That's not weird at all. There you go. You can you can go and get your bed now. Okay, so that's hopefully going to make him a little bit more comfortable and obviously increase his mood a fair amount as well. Oh, God. Permanent crack in his nose. Cataract, cataract. Oh, shit. He's almost entirely blind. Um, yeah, he's got 50% sight. So does that mean in regards to shooting, even though he's got 10 skill, he's going to be just fucking terrible? Okay, good. That's fantastic to know. Let's go. Oh, he's friends with Emmy Tang. I didn't know that. Um, how is it we find out? It's an information sheet, right? So we want to see, uh, ranged or so, something along those lines. Weapon handling is fine. Aiming time 100%. What does it affect? I have no idea. Oh, well. Well, f well I'm sure during the raids we'll be able to get a bit more of uh, an appreciable value for how useful he's going to be in combat here. Good. Alright, um, about freezers. No, no, no. Freezers are absolutely what we don't need. Heaters are what we need right now because everybody's pretty damn cold. It's one degrees indoors. Let's deal with that problem immediately then because that's getting out of hand. Alright, let's put one here. We're probably going to need two. I'm going to spread them out the room even though I'm pretty sure, you know, like thermodynamics aren't that effective in remote. I'm pretty sure you could have them all bunched up in a corner and it works exactly the same. Uh, let's also go... Temperature? What were events these days? Yeah, they are. Okay. Um, of wall then, we'll put one into that bedroom, obviously one into Job's room, and then we'll put one into the kitchen as well, even though it's probably a little more unnecessary there. We've got enough components as well, because we've got that ridiculous gift from Randy uh, with the absurd amount of components. Job and Devin there, playing a little bit of horseshoes before they go about their daily business, and that should hopefully deal with the temperature issue. Let's see what they average out at here. It should be 21, easily. It's not that big a base. Yeah, we're fine. Nothing to worry about. Okay, so dedicated bedrooms now come next. So, oh man, we're gonna, we are gonna—we could remove all of this marble. It's obviously quite heavily damaged anyway, so it shouldn't take too long to mine all of this garbage out. Let's take that away. Um, let's get a blueprint of the bedroom, I guess. Um, let's create a blueprint of, I, I, ideally, the prison, because that's the nicest bedroom we've got right now. If we can make every bedroom look like this with its own little bathroom as well, that'd be fantastic. And we'll just sort of tack it onto here. Yeah, I don't think that's so bad. Obviously, it's a little bit longer to get between places, but that's going to save us a little bit more wood, and it's also going to make the base a little more compact. Obviously, getting into the kitchen easier, getting into the recreation zone easier is probably not a bad plan. I'm fine with that. Let's do it. Good luck. I don't think we've got nearly enough wood yet still. Oh, man, we actually got gunsmithing already. Holy shit. Right then. Okay, now now we're in the, uh, now we're in the end game. Okay, so what do we want? Uh, anything that's kind of fairly accurate. What What is the range cooldown and warm-up? Uh, can we see just, like, accuracy? I think that's determined more by their own skill, isn't it? Uh, what about just making some shotguns? Because apparently shotguns seem... Well, from what I've been told in the comment section, they're, like, dis like just disgustingly powerful. Um, deadly but short range. Doesn't really matter too much if we're fighting inside a kill box, right? It's not as if we've got to worry about enemies fleeing across the plains. Let's make some shotguns. Uh, so we've already got a fairly decent rifle, although just equipping everybody with the same gun would be better, because then we can just churn out so much of the same type of ammo. During this early game, I don't think that having, you know, some people close range, some people long range, and a couple of medium range ones for suppression or anything like that matters too much. I think that's a little too metagamey. Let's just do it four times. And what, how much do they cost? They're not particularly expensive, are they? Um, what am I making? Mossberg, 500, 45 steel, 10 wood, one component. That's fairly cheap, actually. Going to need a lot of steel, but that's not too bad. Then we also want to make a reloading bench, don't we, to actually make some ammo with that, or just a regular loading bench, I guess. So put one of those down here. So we're going to need shit tons of steel. Oh, God. Um, okay, so there's a big vein of it over here, or a decent sized vein. Let's get that gone next, if you don't mind. Now, is there a way to uh, mine all connected doors? There we go. Awesome. That's what I was looking for. All right, thank you. Is there anything we can sort of deconstruct quickly? Like, any? is this steel? Marble wall. Um... I mean, anything further out is probably not worth going for, huh? There is plenty of steel, as we can see in the walls here, but it's just kind of a lot more spread out. That's a pretty decent amount of steel there as well, huh? All right, good. Construct wow, that took no time at all. Holy shit. I blinked, and then suddenly there was a bedroom. Awesome. Um, well, let's get rid of Sarai's bed in there, then, and she can have this bedroom, for all I'm concerned. They're actually starting to work pretty well on clearing some more room for the bedrooms there. What more do we need? We just need shit tons of steel, as per usual. Okay. Um... Might it be worth digging into the mountain a little bit? 
just seeing if we can find any steel veins, just dig in a straight line or, or, or strip mine it a little bit, see what we can pull up. Downside to that is obviously we're basically inviting infestations. Oh, shit. <laughs> 69 makes me frail too, don't worry about it. Okay, good. So I'm sorry to hear that, Devin. Shit. Okay, so he's a garbage colonist. I kind of wish we hadn't gone for him in hindsight because he's going to... Not really, even though he's obviously fairly well skilled in certain regards. Good at shooting. Downside is, blind. Good at melee. Downside is, he's frail. Good at construction. Again, frail. Slow. Damn, this could be a problem. Oh, got a cold snap. Thank God we got those heaters down. It is going to kill all of our fucking crops. Um, okay, how are we doing with the cold snap? Are the heaters still holding out? No, they're not going to quite manage it. Okay. Uh, guess what we need? That's right. It's shit tons of steel. Why don't we... Put down a, I would say, a tailor bench. But guess what we need for a tailor bench? That's right, it's more steel. Um, oh, just, uh, yeah, no, it is electric tailor bench, isn't it? Oh, shit. Okay. It's not a big deal. Okay, I'm, I'm worrying way more than I need to here. Put that down there. I'm, I'm going as compact as possible with this base until we can sort of rebuild it a little bit more effectively. Okay. Um, Super Drop is absolutely decimating that. Let's hold these open just because, you know, if we get a raid, they're going to run through it and we can set it to close again. Everything's dying. Oh god, winter's here. We need to hunt a shit ton of animals as well to try and get furs. What I was going to suggest is we'll make warm clothes next. Because with cold snap setting in, with winter setting in, that's basically a sign that, you know, we need to sort of deal with that. Especially as Sarai's running around naked. Surely she has, like, hypothermia at this stage, right? Yeah. That's not ideal. Super Jill, get out there. Come on, come on, come on, help them out. Right. And that's probably going to finish this bedroom. Man, Jill, I kind of want you to have this room because it's so nice. There's, there's everything you could ever need in there, huh? I mean, obviously, a, a shower rather than a basin would be kind of handy. But that's, that's a pretty nice little bedroom, huh? Okay. Um, how's the prisoner doing as well? You're, you're not too bad, I assume? Badly badly malnourished. Why, though? Whoa. Oh, God, we don't have a warden. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. War crimes, everybody. We're going to take you prisoner and then never feed you. Um, yeah, sorry about that. I, I genuinely just forgot to feed you, my guy. My, many apologies there. Holy shit, I can't believe that. He seems to be okay, though. Low mood, low opinion. That's obviously, the, the longer we go on there, the better. Oh, God, Sarai, just go home. What's wrong with you? You've literally... Oh, God, it's snowing as well. Shit. She just worked herself into a hypothermic state. That's not ideal. Food binge. That's okay. We've got plenty of meals. I'm not too concerned. Like, we've just got a fucking ridiculous amount of meals. Could we? Uh, Jill, very quickly, just pick up all those meals and let her eat the fucking dirty... Oh, there you go. She stopped freaking out. She said, let her eat the dirty meals. Okay, um, just drop those, drop those. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, why are you lying on the floor? Did she not have a... Oh, Tang stole her bedroom. Oh, God, yeah, because, of course, they were sharing. Well, in hindsight, that was a horrible idea. All right, then, go and, uh, go and share, share a bedroom with your mother. Congratulations. All right, there we go. I, I'm pretty sure they're mother and daughter, right? All right, there you go. It's better than sleeping in the kitchen, I guess. Speaking of which, where is Tang? I just... Oh, shit. Yeah, no, this could be an issue. They're working so long on the steel, they're going to tire themselves out. That's okay. We need the steel desperately. You guys you guys can get hypothermia for the good of the colony. Why are we not getting much power? Have we really expanded the base that fast and that quickly that the wind turbines now can't stick it? They're both on very, very low. I think just where we didn't have a wind turbine for a little bit of time there is... Jesus, that's horrible. Um, Well. <laughs> what can we get rid of here? Um, I suppose it's the heaters, isn't it? You know, we've got one extra heater there that we don't really need. We could probably just vent it through. Okay, toggle that one off. Let's put a vent through instead, because I think between this many heaters, we can probably just manage to sort of naturalize the temperature. There you go. D go and do that one. Is that okay? Minus eight, minus seven, minus... Okay, keep a close eye on the temperature. We should be okay. Now the wind turbines are back on the batteries and start filling up in no time, I think. Or not. Solar flare? Solar flare. We're going to die of a cold snap. Everybody's gonna die. Okay, um, let's put down some campfires then, I think. Shit. <laughs> Out of power, so we're starting to hit by hypothermia, and then a cold snap. Or, oh, sorry, this on top of cold snap and everything else we've got going on. Sure, let's take a campfire in the house then before we die horribly. Um, we might need a couple of them, actually. I didn't really think about that. We're gonna have to get a little bit more wood, too. With your last strength, people, I need to get some wood before we all freeze to death. Um... That's probably a little bit too much, but I'll take it. Oh, you know what? There's plenty sort of in our own garden there. That's okay. Uh, stop. Please stop with the steel. I mean, we do need lots of steel, but you guys are actually going to freeze to death doing this. Stop that. Just just bring back what you've got. Get working on the trees. There we go. Are we good? Six degrees, seven degrees. They are going in and out of the house quite a lot. 
Yeah, there we go. That is for all of the bedrooms as well. You've got to remember when they're not going in and out and constantly slamming and opening doors. We should be okay there. This guy is, however, going to freeze to death. Um, shit, what can we do about that? Who's got hypothermia still? It's all right, because she's got no warm clothes. That's okay. It's only serious. It's not life-threatening. I'm pretty sure serious hypothermia is life-threatening, but don't worry about that too much. Okay, so the loading bench we can actually use without needing power, so we might as well start working on uh, Buckshot. Uh, no, no, no. Slugs was better, wasn't it? Wait, was it Buckshot? Or oh, maybe there isn't Slugs. Maybe I'm going crazy. It's shotgun ammo regardless. Um, so let's go for Buckshot. And there is no other type of shotgun ammo that I'm missing here. Let's just double check. Nope, that is it. Okay, so go Buck times... Um, how much do we want? I don't really know in regards to shotgun ammo. I have no idea. Just do until we've got X and sort of see what it naturally increments by. So 20. Um, what if we give someone like... If we give everybody 20 shells each... I think that's okay. Oh, is that... That's probably a little too little, huh? Um, let's go for 160. It's 40 shells a piece. All right, let's try that. And that way, if it's too much, it doesn't matter. We're just going to keep them in the stockpile anyway. On pause, we don't need to. We can manage that with the loadout management, obviously. Sure, let's do that. Uh, let's go uh, restrict. And obviously, when we get our shotguns, we can set that up. But for now, we won't mess around with it too much. What about these things? Do we, do we need to concern ourselves with what appears to be um, a, a barrel of pure fire next to an open campfire? It's going to be jilt roasting over an open fire if we're not careful. Hey, solar flies over. We don't have to worry about it. But that's probably going to be way too warm now, isn't it? We could turn the heaters off for a while. They've got 1.5 days of fuel. In fact, we've got a lot of fuel lying around. And we don't have any energy. So what I'm going to do then is, is quickly turn these off. I think this is an okay idea. I'm, I'm not too mad about this. I do, I do want to start building up a little... A little bit of energy so that we can, you know, make some clothes. We want to make two. We want to make um, parkers as well. We definitely need to make one. Because obviously Sarai needs it. Why don't we make a... Oh man, I would like to make a whole fresh set. But we've also obviously got to go out hunting as well. One of the colors has flu. Uh, that is Sarai. Probably from being out in the cold for fucking ages. Ooh, our clothes have come to us. Okay, Jill and Devon. Let's send those guys out. I was going to say Devon is good at shooting, but again, he is half blind, or almost entirely blind. Go for it. <laughs> I love the speedball hunting, it's so good. Alright, go back to work. Good. Uh, where did she put that? Oh, just in the freezer, huh? And that, what is it? Hopefully light leather? Uh, plain leather. Okay, that's fine. And how much of that have we got? We've got 63 now. And then we've got a little bit of light leather as well. We're going to have to go and hunt some other things. What have we got kicking around still? We've got plenty of horses. 10% chance to hunt. Okay, that's because horses are vicious little shit. Um, what else have we got kicking around here? What's that thing? Uh, a giant elope. I'm just going to say, judging by the look of it, I'm not really interested in hunting that. Just just, just from the... just from, Oh, God, not the fish and mice again. What is this? Sheep wool. Oh, that's actually like incredibly useful. Although, it is on the other side of the map. Actually trying to get it will probably wipe us out. I, we haven't really got any other choice. We're going to have to hunt these horses for their, for their furs. We've got single lynx there, but let's not worry about it. So go and hunt. Um... Ideally, best case scenario, we aggro the horses into the, the, the red version of the Manhunter pack where all of them go crazy and start hunting us. Let's be careful. Hunting lynx? Oh, God, no. Please don't do that. Okay. Cargo pods. What have we got? <gasps> Was that? Oh, sky steel. Sky steel far from the sky. That's appropriate. Pretty useful, too. Devin, you're allowed to hunt, my friend. In fact, it's encouraged that you be allowed to hunt because you are pretty good at shooting. That's what we're after. Are they all horse stallions? Horse mare, horse stallion, horse mare. Okay. Back into the kill box. Let them come to... Oh, God, it is all of them. I imagine... I imagine... Jilp may not be able to outrun a horse. He can... He can absolutely outrun a horse. Keep that door open. Keep that door open. Let Jilp through. Oh, shit, Jilp. Uh, okay, so I give him some cover. Tang? Devon? Wait, hang on. Jilp has Death Dodger, doesn't he? Uh, Death Dodger. Melee dodge plant chance plus 2,000%. Don't worry about it. Do not do not worry about it. Jilp has got this. I believe. No horse can touch Jilp. This is why he's called Super Jilp. He's got Ultra Instinct. Look at this. This is an anime right here. <laughs> this is the stupidest shit. Parrying all these horses. He's running away, just flailing his arms out behind his back, slapping them away. No horse. Not today. <gasps> They've ascended. My god, the horses have Ultra Instinct. Run, come on, Jill. This is fucking stupid. Oh god, okay. No, they are actually hitting him. Okay, I, I'm very much underestimating Death Dodger or whatever the hell it's called. Please don't hit him with an arrow. Oh god, he's going to get fucking murdered by horses. So much for Death to Dodger. Okay, take him down. Tang, get in there. 
Please don't shoot Jill. I eat guys like you for breakfast. Devon is famously French. Run back. Okay, uh, this is fucking horrible all of a sudden. God damn it, all I wanted was some clothes. Tang, you need to you need to pick up the pace, my friend. Okay, ready? Go. Why is the door not shutting? It's not set to hold open. I've been betrayed. I've been absolutely betrayed. Tang, you need to run. We're going to get fucking killed by horses. Oh my god. Keep parrying. Punch that horse. Okay, Tang, Tang, keep moving. Keep moving, Tang. Shit, what is going on? I absolutely can't believe this. Who just... Just a right literally threw it. Shoot the fucking thing. Can't shoot in melee. Oh my god, we're gonna get wiped out by horses. Fine, stand and fight. Stand and fight. You've got a knife, just fucking take him down. How are we doing? 23%. We, we're gonna die. Super jump's back up. <laughs> He's back up. Okay. Nothing to worry about. I don't care about those guys. Let them fucking die. No, don't run. Fight. Fight, you coward. Save Devon. Okay, Jilp. It's all down to Jilp. Oh my god. Um. Okay, grab your arrows. Pick up your pick up your arrows. Okay, draft and save them. Are they still Manhunter? They are. Oh my god. That's not that's not cash money at all. This is very not cash money of you horses. And now we've got a pack of fucking nuts horses. Okay, go around go through the back door. Go around the outside, around the outside. Okay. Uh, dive in. Go, go, go. Sneak. Sneak. The horses are all dying. Jump. No, the fucking doors every goddamn time. Okay. This could be bad. Okay, 64%. Get, 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 run. Run, 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 run. 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 Keep running. Never stop running. Oh my god, why can he not outrun this fucking cunt horse? I'm sick of you. Um, we haven't even got a melee weapon. Right, that's it. Club this goddamn horse. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, <sighs> Man in black, Travis. Travis, my friend. Travis, you need to move fast. Rescue Jill. Fuck the others. <laughs> oh my god, the horses. What is the chance of it? I mean, it was 10%, but what is the chance of them, the entire pack, going nuts like that as well? I feel like we got horribly unlucky. Set, 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 rescue job. I don't give a fuck about the others. You've got armor piercing rounds. Oh, that is how we do it. All right. How's he doing? He's just bruised. He's just bruised. Leave him. He's fine. Rescue the others. Take that horse down. T uh, take no prisoners, Travis. Oh, get roasted. Oh my god, if Travis goes down as well. <gasps> He's a fucking marksman. He's a madman. He's a machine. Oh, you think you're safe? No one is safe from Travis. Oh. That felt good. Okay. Um, so who's most likely to die? No one. They're just all hideously, hideously bruised. Um, I mean, hypothermia's shivering. Nothing. Oh, it's 10 degrees. Oh, the cold snap ended. Oh, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I'm not worried about a thing. Right, rescue Devon. Shit sake. Unbelievable. I believe we... Oh, that was actually a tactical play. A lot of you are going to be criticizing. I mean, I wasn't entirely... That was not my fault at all. We had to hunt animals to get warm clothes. Those are the only animals. And then we got very unlucky. That's not my fault. But it was also a very meta gameplay strategy. So what you can do... <laughs> don't believe my lies on this one. One of the best things to do is actually almost lose the game. At which point, there's a chance a man in black would turn up and come save you. And that's given us a free colonist. <clears throat> there's definitely... Definitely what I intended to do. Get him into bed. Reloading. Yeah, good, good. Cold snap is now over. Excuse me? Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't remember that seeing, seeing that say it was over. Okay, get, get everybody into bed. Fuck me. All right. Um, how good are you at medicine, my friend? 4.3. Congratulations. You're now head doctor. Uh, no, not you. Devin, Travis, Travis, whatever the hell your name is. You're now head doctor. We've got, hey, you know what? The mission was kill the horses and get the leather. We've killed the horses. You can't deny it. That was a success. <laughs> what a load of garbage. Oh my god. We don't deserve to win after that. Again, that was not my fault, but it was a risky strategy. The risk was my fault. It actually happened in the way it did. Not at all my problem. Tend to jilt. The sooner we tend to jilt, the sooner jilt can tend to just about everyone else. Quack's no longer capable of quill. Okay, I thought somebody died then. It was just an eclipse. Nothing to worry about. Man, that was, uh, that was horrible.
Why are we still losing power? I think we'll turn off the machining table for now. Um, holy shit, that was fun. That was that was ridiculous, but kind of kind of funny. All right, um, that's got no power now, and the, the wind turbines are just being garbage again, huh? Yeah, it's just the wind turbines being shit. Nothing to worry about there. So, Travis, have you patched everybody up? No, go and patch Sarai up as well. I think that's everybody sort of in a much better place. Travis is immediately up. Oh, sorry, Tang is immediately up, cleaning everything. We're going to rename these colonists. They've all learned their place now. Destroyed fresh. What was destroyed? Uh, what was destroyed? Right pinky. Okay. A horse bit his finger off. I don't really care about that one. Man, uh, like I said, though, look at what we've got. Horse for days, my friends. Just so much horse. I was never once worried about that. There was not a situation I thought that would be a game over. Nothing to worry about. Travis, you need you need the bedroom. Tra this is Travis's room now. You refer to him as Travis, savior of the colony. Not quite as good as Jolt, but almost as good. That's his official title. Um, I'm going to put that there as well. They can all share a bedroom temporarily. How are we doing in terms of heat? We haven't got enough power, though. We still don't have enough power, huh? Jesus. We have to build another wind turbine. We've got the, we've got the resources for it, which is the only reason I wasn't. Okay, sure. Let's do that, then. Um, let's put it like... Oh, here's fine. Um, and we need... Oh, my God. Did I not connect the other one up? <sighs> Thank you for watching. Next episode, we do something a bit more useful. <laughs> Next episode, we don't antagonize goddamn horses. Big shout out to Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol, Sedini, Conspired Seed, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Danny Good, Donald, Eric B, Escape, Fukunda Vasquez, Fungus King, Harik, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindy, and Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Muller, Necrofillin, Pelvis Presley, Surthal the Swede, Sorogom, Toby Cruz, Tom Terrier 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backers, and Zazzy 7011. Thank you all for your support, the insanity levels on Patreon. There have been some other new patrons as well. I haven't got your names yet because the emails came through as I was recording. Most apologies. But I will make sure you are on the list and I'll update the end screen and make sure that's all nicely tidied up so you guys get the your, your respect that you're due. And of course, a big shout out as well to Asro, Adam Person, Akari, Andrew Wilson, Betamus Max, Sidini, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 2 and 7, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, GDWK Run, Genji Zerka, Gray, Haji Damar, Hancock, Harry McGowan, I see the Great, Israel, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Yuan DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plock, Justin Walters, Luan and Thomas, Matthew, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Limburg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Nixie, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Smirtworm, The Insane Pickle, Venom Meow, Will Wade, Wolfie, and Zico too. Thank you all for your support.